does and he will. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He's yeah. promised that. Amen. Yes. Uh, good morning. Morning. Good morning. I believe I've met, shook hands about their back, except for just a couple, maybe. Good to see everybody here this morning. But if snow flies, people want to hide, don't they? Yeah. Amen. But the Lord's faithful and true. Amen. He said it's hell. it helped us this morning in the morning. I think you'll hold the snow off long enough for us to yeah. be together. Just preach and try to teach a little bit and hear about his word and how much love and compassion Amen. he has for us. You know, uh, I just, there's a couple of different things I'd like to start off with. First of all, I want to give out a praise, a shout of praise of what God is capable of doing. For the past three months, I'm going to say three months, Steve. It's a friend of ours, and a good friend of Bobby's. She was in, got put in the hospital in the ICU. Her kidneys shut down. She's had cancer. She's been fighting battles for years now. Doctors more or less gave up on her, Steve. Yeah. And said, hey, we've done about all we can do, but we don't know what else to do. You know, I've seen God work and come through. You ever know witness the power of God? Amen. For going up. And you start praying for somebody and they're completely out of it. And their body starts flopping around and their feet start trying to yeah. come out of bed. You know God's around. That's right, brother. I mean, when you've seen that power, you, you know that God's around and he's Amen. yours. Come on. And you know, when you, there's people, the doctors, they say, oh, she ain't going to make it. We can't do no more. Yeah. A couple weeks later, the person's at home, Steve. That's right, brother. Doing things for herself. Right. God born from the death to back to the life. I love the Amen. But Hallelujah. it's a him. You know, I've seen it. I've yeah. also seen it with another friend of mine that I've got to know, Steve. The VA, they did. They, 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 they gave up on him. Yeah. They even told the family, we can't do no more. We cannot do no more. And I'll just mention this first name, Jack. He was in the same situation, completely out of love. Oh, amen. Who's breathing for him, keeping him alive? Seen that same power move upon him. And you know, when you witness to somebody and to pray for him and ask God to bring him out of that situation. It is mind blowing, Steve. Amen. And to feel the presence of the mighty Spirit of God move yes. around a person's bed and their, them being on their deathbed. I just want to thank the Lord. The doctors come in his room and I was up and they said, I've never seen it before. Them changes in them lungs, you know. Uh, yeah. We don't know what to say or uh, what, yeah. you know. We don't know what. I said, I, I said, Lord, Amen. Yeah. it was nothing but the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Thank God. There's nothing. If I could say it again, there's nothing on this earth. You know, we may go through these troubles and trials. I did. And I'm still going through trials now. Don't get me wrong. Amen. God didn't promise us no better roses. Amen. Right. He didn't say, oh, we walk the path and there ain't nothing ever going to happen to us. That's a lie. Because, right. you know, if, if we did go through troubles and trials and tribulations, what use would we have of God? That's right. What use would we, Steve? That's it. I mean, we can get too comfortable. That's right. Yeah. Too comfortable, don't yeah. we? We forget about God when everything's up. When yeah. we're up here, we forget about where He's bought us from. Amen. We forget about that. We can't, we don't, you know, we get up on that mountain, we forget about everything. We yeah. be careful. Yeah, but I, but I've seen God heal. I've seen God take back our packs off a man's back right here. Right. Yeah. Wasn't me. Right. Wasn't the doctors. They didn't give me nothing new, Steve. In yep. fact, the medicines they gave me, I couldn't take. Right. It's God. Amen. It's God. Hallelujah. If I die today, it was God that's brought me this far. Right. He's been a father to me. 
is Father of the Fathers. He'll hear you, I'm telling you, if you're living close to him. And stuff, just keep trusting in him because Amen. it's coming home, Steve. That's right. He'll, he'll hear your prayers. Don't give up. Don't lose faith. You know, devil, he wants you to lose faith. He wants yeah. to get out. No, don't do that. Don't do that. But you know what the most, most precious thing he, he's ever gave us is this right here. Word, brother. Hallelujah. He's given us a road map. Yeah. He's given us basic instructions. He's gave us life. Yes. And he gave it to where we can have life more abundantly. Man. He loves us so much. And you know why? Well, I can't never get away from one thing, Steve. At John 3, 16. Amen. <laughs> Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever. That's right. Whosoever. I don't, I always, I, I not me. I'd like to preach other things this morning, Steve. Yeah. I'd like to get up here and say everything different this morning. Yeah. God's got a message for you this morning. Yeah. He's got a message for you every day of your life. But you know what? He don't force himself on no one. That's right. But he said, for that whosoever that will, Amen. let him come. Yes. Take the word of life and freedom. There's healing powers. Amen. There's saving grace. Yes. There's a there's a youth turn in life's road. Amen. It's for yours for you to take. You and you alone. Come on. I mean, it's up to you. God won't God won't force itself upon you. Come on. You know, I, I like to get back to where he what he done for me, Steve. Yes. I'm, I'm going to go into uh, Matthew 27. You know a lot of people, they'll preach on this maybe once a year. But you know what? That's that's what he's done for us, Steve. Amen. What he took. Amen. Because he loved us so much individually. Yes. He loved us so much. He took that punishment for earth sins. That's right. Sins of the whole world. Can you imagine, Steve, the sins of the whole world? I know. Can you imagine child molesters? Yeah. Killers? Yeah. Druggies? Yeah. Scum of the earth? Baby killers? Yeah. People are defiled with self with mankind? Yeah. What other scum of the earth? People that you think the drunkards, the abusers with their sins, the all this filth he took. Yeah. I couldn't have done that. I couldn't I couldn't see my only begotten son. No. My only son. I could I think of that when I look at my son, giving him yeah. for what I see in my eyes. Yeah. If I if I look in my eyes, yeah. I know by you know, we, that's what we like to label. We have to be careful yeah. and not label people. But a lot of people say, why? Well, I, I want to give him five cents. I want to give him the time of day. God will. Yes. Amen. And did. Jesus did. He Amen. Took, he took you. Nastiness, he took you feel. To the cross. And I just want to read this in 26 through 31. Get on, on my own paycheck. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm, I'm amazed, Steve. As I look back over my life and where I've come from, where I've yes. been, how He's forgiven me. Yes. And cleansed me. Not nothing in my good works, but of all of him. Yes. Because it says here in 26 through 31. When he 
would say it when you say when you say it. Of course, you know the story about them releasing the killer, the right. murderer. Yes. The rappers. They released the guilty. Jesus, the innocent one. And brought him in and to them. And when they had scorched, scourged, scourged, I'll get it right in a minute. Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. You know what word scourged? We take that lightly and say, yeah. You know, they take them in there and just, no. I think they said with the bone pieces of metal yeah. in that wheel. And I don't think they get him lightly, Steve. No. I think when they laid the whip down, they laid it down hard and then heavy. And when they pulled back, they, they the flesh, bro. tore the flesh. I about dare say you could see his bones, Steve, yeah. hanging out. I about dare say you could see it. Yeah. And every time they yeah. whipped, that's for our sin that you commit. That's right. That's for that baby killer. That's right. Thieves, liars, dope bags, you name it. Right. Every one. He took that to the cross. He took it. Every whip, whip of that cross. Every time he took it for you and for me. Yes. Thank God. Thank God he done that. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus to the common hall and gathered unto them the whole band of soldiers. All kinds. All kinds of people yeah. there. And they stripped him. Put on him a scarlet robe. Yes. When they had plaited a crown of thorns on his on his head, that wasn't no easy. Yes. Plaid either, Steve. That big, Steve Porsche, That's Steve. right. You could see. It's just like a picture of you could see how they forced that crown of thorns right. down on his head, drove it down on his head, and the blood pumping out. Pulsate now. Running down his face and around. Part the whole sinner. And they put a reed in his right hand and bowed their knees before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Now, wasn't that something, Steve? They didn't realize he was the king. Amen. And the very one mocking, making fun of him, sneering, wagging. Yeah. <laughs> Look at your king of Jews. Yeah. So ungodly, so. Spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. It makes me mad to just think if somebody was come up and spit on me or spit in my face, Steve. Oh, yeah. I couldn't do it. I mean, I'd want to fuck back. I'd want to yeah. get with him. Yeah. They took that reed. Want no love cats either. No. I bet you hit him hard. Oh yeah. Every you know, you can feel the anger coming from yeah. Beat him. Yes. Why? And after they mocked him, he took the robe off of him and put his own raiment back on him and led him away to be crucified. I want to skip on down to 39 to 43. They drove them 
finds. In his hands, some say hands, some say he did. Passed by and reviled him, wagging their heads and saying, Thou destroyed the temple and build us it in three days. Save thyself. If thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests mocked him and the scribes and the elders said, He saved others. Himself he cannot save. If it be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross. And we will believe him. If he trusted in God, let him deliver him now. If he will have him, for he said, I am the son of God. Thing. Yes. He says he's a king, the son of God. Yes. He talks about saving others, and they're why can't he save himself? Come on down. Yeah. Save us and save yourself and save us. Come on down from there. Ain't we the same way today? This book. in it are true. Yes. It's been proven fact. But the devil so much has tried to destroy it. Yes. Ever since the foundation of the earth was yeah. Ever since it was written. Ever since. You know, Matthew 26 53 and 54. These pages are paper, paper thin, Steve, and you yeah. can't hardly get a hold of them. Yeah. They thought that he couldn't come down. Yeah. The word says, thinkest thou that I can't, cannot now pray to my father. And he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels. He could have destroyed mankind and wiped, yeah. them, wiped us from the face of the earth. Right. What have to deal with it? What have to go through with all this embarrassment, shame, torture, punishment? You know, they talk about torture now, Steve. Yeah. We don't know torture. We don't know the full extent of what God, the Lord Jesus Christ, knows for us. Yeah. We don't know it. And he says, but how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled? That thus it must be. He said that word. He's done accordingly to his word. Right. And it's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is the same today, yesterday, yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yeah. Also, he never changes. Steve. That's right. He never changes. He's all around you. He don't. He don't force us. He could have destroyed the devil when he first started. Right. He. But you know what? He'd done that. And when he made us, he would have made us to willfully worship him. Right. He wanted somebody freely, freely to worship him. Freely, brother. Now, you're here.
here today. You're lost. Or you're watching by the video. You're lost. John 14, 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And he earned that right on the cross. Amen. I don't care how you look at it. That's all. He's the only way. Right. And without the shedding of blood, there is no, no remission for sins. Sin. He said, if, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart, God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. You got to believe it. In the heart. That's, yeah. In the heart. You got, it's got to come from the heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sin. And with your mouth, confession is made unto righteousness. The Lord saved me. That's right. He saved me. He forgave me. Right. He nailed my sins Amen. upon that old rugged cross. And I believe in his word. Yes. I believe in him. That's him right there. Amen. <clears throat> so easy. It's up to you. Right. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Today is a day of salvation. Amen. You ain't got no promise of that five minutes from now. No. The next second, Steve. That's right. What happened to him? He was so young. He was so old. Death has no age limits. No. Precious little baby's been laid to rest. Today, <coughs> that we're here, pardon not that heart. That's right. Except today, and also stay. Get luke, lukewarmness, Steve. Yeah, Lord. What does the Bible say about lukewarmness? That's exactly right. Revelation 3.16. Right. Ain't that something? John 3.16. Right. For whosoever. But if you lukewarm, Make him sick. Yeah. He kind of, you know, he gets that upset stomach because. Yeah. But I thought it's around it's three sixteen. I want to read that just to make sure that I get the words words right, Steve. Yeah. You may. So then, because thou art lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. Right here. I love this cross. You know, Steve. You know. And I say, Steve, if, if we had the right ones, them thorns would probably come out about like that. Yep. Them nail prints. Yes. Right here. That's where I help you, Steve. That's right. Right here. Look, we're up on the mountain. Yeah. Or we're down in that mountain. We draw our strength from right there. Amen. If we've gotten too far from the cross. He 
said, I'll set you free. Be free indeed. Amen. You want to be free today? You want to draw closer to God? You got things that you need. You know what, Steve? I'm afraid anymore to get away from this right here. There's too much danger right here, Steve. There are. You know, I could. I could close that up right there and get away from it. But you, I'll, I'll show you a person, though, when I do that, that it won't be no time. Trouble. And I'll be out here in trouble. And you know what? It starts with just a little pinprick. Right. But it ends up a monster. That's right. Yeah. It ends up a monster. Because that little pinprick, you get out here and you sleep in one, you're going to turn around and you're going to sleep in another. That's it. And you end up, you're going to, if you're a Christian, you're going to be down there in that hole. Come on. That's it. With the swine. Yeah. Eating in the trash, the miry clay, the nastiness, the filth. Yeah. We do, Steve. Yeah, we get away from it. No trouble, man. Big trouble. The Bible also says you can't serve two masters. That's right. Either hold the one, love the other, or despise one, hate. Yeah. I think that's pretty close to you can't do it. No. You gotta let something go. What are you gonna let go today, John? Uh, who are you going to hold to? God ain't going to hold your head. You hold me. Junk. The truth. The work. It's junk. It's all going to pass away, whatever you're looking at. Even me. That's right. Yourself. We're all going to pass That's away. Right. These buildings are going to come down. Things are going to rot. Termites are going to come in. Bricks are going to decay. We're decaying every day. That's right. Yeah. Who are you trusting on today? Are you. Trying to hold up? Are you trying to hold up this morning? You're here this morning for five minutes. Just not no reason. The Lord allowed you to be here this morning. Yep. He's got something for you in your life. He's got something new for you in your life. He can take them old things and wash them away. Make you white as snow. Amen. Which that brings up a good, a good Scripture, Isaiah one eighteen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. He's he is so good to me. <laughs> he's so good to me. He's so good to you too. He's yeah. so good to you, my brother. So good to you. Every one of us could say, Amen. Yeah, Amen. but you don't know, Steve, what I went through today. You're here, ain't you? You're breathing, ain't you? And you got ears. Lord, I prayed for them to have ears to hear, eyes to see. Because when we stop them up and when we don't see, we're walking in darkness. Yeah. Got to have them eyes and ears, Steve. Yeah. But let me get on here with Isaiah. I, I got to be careful. I'll go out here rabbit trail. Next verse is good too. And I might just read it. We ain't got, we ain't no big hurry on them. Amen. Oh, God's time. I like to brag on the Lord. Amen. I like to brag on him. He says, Come now. That's right. Now. What are you saying? Hey. Run. Come on. Yeah. Get out of here. Come on. Yeah. Now, I, he's talking about, well, come now, well, whenever. He's talking about right now. That's right. That's right. right now. Yeah. It's that urgency. About yes. It. That's right. It is urgent, Steve. Yes. Boy, there's power and there's safety. Yes. And let us reason together. I mean, can you believe that? The King of kings, the Lord of Lord, the God of the universe is wanting to reason <clears> with you. Thanks to you. Reason with me. Amen. I was. I was nasty, filthy. Yeah. 
But he said, saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. That blood, no drip of blood, nastiness of the world. Yeah. Cleanse that. Well, that's one thing good about that snow, seeing it come down yeah. this morning. So white. Yeah. Clean. Pureness. Yeah. Form of pureness. And them old sins that I've committed. Even people today will say, look at him. Yeah. Look what he did or look what he used to do or what he said. To yeah. Look at him. Lord said, come here. That's right. I'll clean you up. I'll make you new. I'll refresh you. That's right. Come now. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. God help us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So when he looks down from heaven on yeah. he don't see that filth, that trash, what used to be. But he sees the book of That he should torment right. you. Whosoever will. Amen. Let him come. Come on. Come now. You know which one that is, though, Steve? Yeah. Revelations 3.20. Praise God. Yeah. Sometimes I, it feels, I think God just trying to increase my knowledge, increase my reading ability. Mm -hmm. You know, he works on us in mysterious ways, mm -hmm. don't Steve? Yeah. Revelations 3.20. Behold, look at here, look at here, behold, I stand at the door. And knock. Listen, anybody at home? If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. That is a promise. That's right. Are you willing today? Are you willing by the video? Are you willing today? Allowing today to be the day of salvation for you. Are you so tired, sick and tired of your life on how it's a going? Are you fed up with being down in the hog trough? Are you expecting God to do miracles? He will. Will you allow him to? Amen. You draw nigh to me. I'll draw nigh to you. Saith the Lord. Amen. His word's true. Proven. That's right. Proven today. Will today be the day of your salvation? Well, you can just throw your hands up. And walk, refresh, and renew. Let's take a trip back down memory lane. There was two little thieves. Two different crosses, Steve. Yeah. One on the right, one on the left. At first, both of them mocked the Lord. That's right. They both mocked and one on the right. Well, one on the left. Let me go with him first. He kept on yeah. hanging it on. Yeah. Right. Get out. 
Get us down from here. Hey, yeah. save yourself and save us. Get me off this cross. Yeah. That's what he wanted. He wanted to physically move out. Yeah. Another one said, Father, forgive me. He said, hey, he said, we deserve to be up here. Yeah. Just, we done this ourselves. That's right. We done our own hanging our own self. Look, this man's done nothing. Lord said, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. That's right. The one on his right. We got two hands here. That's right. He says in his words, That was on his right. Well done. Come in, thou good and faithful yeah. servant. Come on. He's want to. They're coming to separation day. That's right. He's want to separate us. Lands from the gold, is it, Steve? Yeah, buddy. Gold's on his right. Come in. What a great glorious day. Come in to my peace, That's my right. love, my care. Right. Sup with me. A great marriage cancels. That's right. They're more to be separated. No more, never more, no sin, never more to be out here in this field, never more right. to worry, no more to nothing. Right. It's taken away. When that spirit comes back, oh, how refreshing it is. It's hard to explain it, Steve. Right. The love that you feel and the peace and the joy and happiness right. and all this up. Nothing bothers you. That's right. Praise God, it's going to be like that one day forever and ever. Right. No more will we have to worry about anything else. That's right. Which really we shouldn't anyway. That's right. Because God is in control. Amen. 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 God is in control. Praise God. I thank you for that because that sure make a wreck out of it. The Bible says, except you repent and be delivered. You cannot see the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Let me tell you something. There's paydays coming. You're sitting here and you're listening to this. I've told you the way of the cross. That's right. I've led you right here to the bottom. I've led, I, and Steve, you have. These other preachers, Brother Dave, <laughs> Brother William, you, you know, they hear it. You're unexcusable. That's right. Unexcusable. That's right. Even the ones that never hear the word. That's right. They're unexcusable because they know it's just it happened by right. chance. You can't have it back and everything right. turning opposite of each other more at which right. way and the earth being healed right in the center. That's right. Something happened. That's right. Something happened. Something amazing. Yes. It was amazing how that is God. That's right. God's always been. He always will be. That's right. And I'm going to tell you something else. Hell is my opinion, my opinion has always been and always will be because Satan, Lucifer, whoever you want to call him, thought he was better. That's right. And higher than God. And he wants to be God. <clears throat> and one day he's going to set his kingdom up here on this earth. Right. He's going to have control over people. Calling. Death, hell, and destructions follow him. Right. Uh, it is, Steve. It's all black. Right. You die in your, in your sins, you go to hell, you'll think. The Bible says, I. No, uh, place of outer darkness. Yeah. 
weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Yeah. This whole body, <laughs> it ain't going over back to the dust. It's that spirit. When God breathed the breath of life into man, he become a living spirit. He right. lived. It's not us that you see, but it's that spirit that's in us right. that lives forever. Your thoughts, eyesight, hear, smell, and taste is what you'll take with you. You want to taste charcoal, coals, nastiness of the black, the furnace, the heat. If you don't like the heat, you better stay out here. If you don't like the darkness, stay out. If you don't like the river, the lake of fire, it's not a river, it's a lake. Great, very great. I guess I've told everybody before. It ain't pleasant. I think God gave me another chance to warn you. Turn from your wicked way. Accept right. him. Follow after him. Follow after him. <clears throat> seek judgment. Follow after righteousness. Turn. Today. Come now. Are you willing? Today is a day of salvation. Turn from today, please. Please. God, would you? Would you come while they're playing this song? You've gotten out here. You've wandered away from God. You're not close as you used to be. You've got things going on in your life. Most important, you're lost. And you don't know God. You know, when you... The Bible says when you're saved, you become a new creature. That's right. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things Amen. become new. You know, see, I'm worried yeah. when people say, I'm saved. Right. But yet they continue to walk in darkness. Yeah. That's not the word, Steve. That's right. You've got to turn from it. If you're, if you're here today and you're thinking I'm saved and I'm walking in the world and continuing in the world after I ask God to save me, better check up yeah. because that is false. Yes. That is not the word you said. That's right, brother. The floor is open. Amen. Don't worry about people. Don't worry about the cameras. The cameras right. will shine on you. Right. We will get up here with pain. That's right. You're here lost today. Come now. Come now. You hear it and you kind of got cold on the Lord. Come. Would you? Would you come? With all your words. Somebody to move this morning. Amen. You know, the devil said, no, you're going to look like a fool. Oh, you're going to you're going to embarrass yourself. You're going to make a fool of yourself. That's what he's telling you. But I'm telling you something. You're making a fool of your own self if you sit. That's right, you're right. And don't move. That's what the devil wants. That way, when you leave from here, this moment, this morning, this moment, you leave from here and you reject God, that's what you're doing. You're spitting. In right. the Lord's face. That's you're right. saying, I don't care. I mean, I, that's, that's right. just a plain honest fact. I don't care. Right. But I'm going to tell you something. He's freely gives to all men. You go, you leave it here this morning. The devil's saying, oh, it's all right. It smoothed it over with you this morning. Yeah. That's a lie from hell. I'm going to tell you right. something. You've ended up. You're going to. I feel it with all my heart you're in trouble. God is ready to release you. It's up to you. Would you move? Amen. Please. You're not, you're not going to be satisfied until you do. You're right. not going to have peace. You're not going to have a joy in your life or nothing until you move. But God won't force it. No. And I'm not going to force it anymore. I know people out here on a, these hard drugs. <clears throat> I can't get off. They've got, they're so wrapped up in them, they, ha they see no way. Each time you put a pill in your mouth, that much closer to death. That's right. 
sin. That's what the devil wants to do to you. Is take you down to that black, nasty pit. Now, if you look right here, look at That's what it is in hell. It's black, Steve. Dark. Yeah, but guess what? You're hearing them. They're screaming. They're not satisfied, Steve. They're screaming and agony and pain and torment, which is promised here in this word. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to scare nobody. I'm just telling you the truth. Yeah. It is dark, and people and, and spirits oh, yeah. gnashing up on them, biting, and you can't get away from it. Well, you can't run from it. It surrounds you everywhere. Where are you going to run? You can't see to run. It's there. Forever and ever. Torment. That's what the Bible says. Torment. Be tormented day and night. Well, not only will you go there, but when judgment comes, forever-lasting lake of fire. It's all heaven and earth is going to be washed away. Yeah. Behold, a new heaven and new earth. John seen it. See Coming down. If you're saved and born again, you got everything to shout about. That's right. Everything to live for. You know, like the man is born of a woman, a few days full of trouble, and like the right. flowery weather fades away. You know? Yeah. We ain't got long. And if you're out here in the world, 